My name is David Murray, and I'm a developer on the tracking and planning team for Rational Team Concert. In this video, I'll demonstrate a few enhancements to the web UI for plans in the 406 release. Items in a plan can now be dragged to a different plan opened in another browser window. Here I have two plans opened, a sprint backlog on the left and a release backlog on the right. I'm going to drag a story from the product backlog to the sprint. I'll also select a few defects from the backlog and drag them to the sprint. This time I'll drop them onto the group for user Al to assign the defects to him. Notice that in the plan that I dragged from, the items are grayed out and cannot be modified. Now I'll save the plan that I dragged the items to. Notice that when I clicked save, the plan that I dragged from was automatically refreshed and no longer shows the items that were moved. Items can be dropped onto more than just groups. You might try dropping on top of plan items to make the dragged item a child or onto columns in a task board or Kanban view. There are a couple of limitations that are worth mentioning. First, at this time, only items from a plan that's opened in the web UI can be dragged across windows onto another plan. And second, the two plans must belong to the same project. A number of enhancements have been made that apply when items in a plan are being displayed as a tree. To display items as a tree, click to edit the plan view. If there is not an option to edit the display, you can click the drop down next to more to add one. When the value for display is tree, you can select the relationship to use. The default is a tree of parent to child items. When I open the menu for a work item in the plan, there's an action to create a child work item. This was present in previous releases. New to 406, this action changes when other relationships are used. I'll change the relationship for my tree to tracks contributes to. Now, in the menu for an item, I have an action to create an item which this one contributes to. When I click it, I'm given a standard OSLC dialog to select an existing item or create a new one. Thanks for watching. For more information about RTC 406, visit jazz.net.